Hold on, let me try. That's it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Try it. I hear you. Oh fuck. <laughs> it got the um the train. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> What's your number? Uh, 714. 706. 706. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I only have your number. Hello, everybody. This is yeah. Sam Hall. Yeah, I hear him. Okay. Gonna, I'll take him. Classic Shore. No, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Number nine, it shouldn't be.
and welcome everyone to USL2 here in beautiful Southern California. My name is Simon Allen. I am the Dalai Lama of soccer in the TVE Max family for Sports 11. It's going to be a thriller of a match tonight. We are here in Santa Monica, Capistrano area, the Capistrano Valley in the home of the Cougars to watch Capo FC play host to Redlands FC. And it should be a very good match. Right now we're waiting on the national anthem. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Hey, hello, folks. Not as long as you can hear it, and uh, instills pride. Right now, we see the customary high fives, fist bumps. Home team Capo FC in their customary navy blue and gold, and their away strips for Redlands, which obviously white. Both teams ready to go. You are watching USL two. And uh, you can see the referee's final sort of uh, instructions and in both teams. Well, you can see one team ready for photos <laughs> behind the referees. You can't see them on screen. And the other team still last second huddle. And both teams really absolutely in it. Um, Capo FC has played two matches so far in USL2. Um, Whittier College, and, well, I'm sorry, here you go, here is Redlands, and you can see their starting lineup, and Coach uh, Cody Carlson's got them ready to go, and uh, we want to go back to Capo as we're talking about them, they had played on the 17th of this month uh, to a 1-1 draw against the Seahorses, and then just recently, uh, five t on 5-20, just an absolute, just a whiz-bang of a match, so to speak, against you know, RZ, I used to call, I want to call him RZ, but it's AZ Arsenal, uh, where Capos uh, beat them 4-0. On the flip side, we have to look at uh, what's going on with Redlands, a you know, very traveled team as well. Redlands FC doing you know, very, very well, actually, uh, for whatever it's worth, it's early days, for whatever it's worth, yeah. May 13th, uh, they had, it was a 1-1 was draw with FC Tucson and, and an away win at, uh, at Arizona Arsenal. Um, very good. 2 0 1 against uh, Ventura County Fusion. Luis Mueller scoring the second goal in, that, in the 79th minute of that match. Pretty good. First goal was a, a great team effort. Omar Yeah assisting Noah Lopez. Uh, Sebastian Arsenio had a great match keeping a clean sheet and got a man of the match for his efforts. But right now, all that is null and void, really, because we are watching a live match here in Capistrano Valley. Home of the Cougars, so watch out. And here we go, folks. USL 2 on its way. Good long ball to the side. Just can't control it, and that's just, you know, probably just shaking the rust off for Capo FC. 
so far. The wind sort of held pace and it's not that cold. I thought it'd be a little bit colder today. But you're listening to Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of soccer, and thank you so much for tuning in. Without you, I'm simply talking to thin air and fantastic that you are supporting lower league football in America. And here we go, back to the action. Capo with the ball. Passing it back to the center back. has got a little bit of time right now. Nice long ball into area. Can they find a man? No, finds a Redland center back and just nicely kicked into the center of the park. Who could control it? Well, let's take a look. So far, so good. Good movement by both these teams and Redland's just losing control right now. Throw in going to Redlands. We want to see what Herrera can do in the back alongside Velasquez for Capos. And can they get it out? So far, control to Redlands. In the top of the box over here. Can you do something with it? Surely. Nice little through boys. Got to take the shot. There it is. That's the goal. No. And everyone's kind of split, spared their blushes because it's an offside call by the referee. Did a good job, saw it. You can see how it's just a, a completely unmarked right there. And goodness, I bet you he'd want that shot back. Nice little booter into the middle of the park. Who can control it? Herrera gives it to his teammates. A little bit of space there, but it's a quick pass. Out to touch again. All right, got to get on the same page. They're at home, their fans are here. Good traveling group over here by the Redlands fans. So we'll see how it goes. It's a three-day weekend here in the United States. So curious to see what happens to the turnout across all levels, really. But this is USL2, and hardcore fans are here to watch their teams. Here we go. A little bit of action here. Surely a shot. No pass. Oh, just not on the same page. And here we go. Give him back. Herrera's got the ball now. Gets it to his teammate. Look to the side. And it just out to it's very, very, you know, very, very sloppy right now. But it's early days. And Capo's, I think, the, you know, the manager's going to have a little word about that. Redmond's with the ball. Beecham just absolutely lobs it forward. Doesn't get quite to his player, but there you go. And again, a little bit of 70 star football going here. Back and forth, back and forth. They've got to sort of, with all due respect, calm it down a bit, get a few more passes in, see what happens. Not much penetration, just a lot of shots from outside the box. Again, we like to see that. Both teams know it's early days in this match as well as you know, in the league. So here we go. Siegel wants to do something with that. You know, he's looking for something, some, a ball to get passed to him, but it's just on the other side of the park right there. Just a missed boot right there. And then here we go, a little bit of an action and very well recovered by Capo. They're trying to get those balls. Capo FC doing very, very well right now. Switching sides. Surely a long, there you go. There's that long cross into it. Can he get to anyone? Not quite. Not quite. Free kick. Chooses to go laterally. Vargas with the ball. Tries to find his teammate. Headed away. Very well done. Herrera doing a good job over there with his teammate. Velasquez in the middle of the park, really. I, you know. So we'll see what's going on. Good little throw. And here we go. Mueller's got to do a little bit better than that going into it, trying to penetrate the box, but early days. Throw in for Redlands. Mueller wants the ball back, but he's just walking right now. Just out of touch. 
Miriam couldn't quite get it, and there's a nice throw in very quickly, and surely a shot, and just whisked away. Memory did a good job coming back, trapping, excuse me, coming back and getting the ball away. First corner kick for Capo FC. Yeah, very, oh. <laughs> A bit low. Oh, look at that. Falls favorably and just doesn't quite get a good touch on that one. And that is a squandered chance. And he's going to have to just dream about getting that one back. Capo FC so close to scoring a goal and getting their name on the score sheet. back and forth here who can control the, the ball and looks like it's Redlands they've got good control right now on the sides can it ooh, again just booting it away now that was just good defending but I'm sure the managers like that player should have never gone that far to throw in for Redlands Miram gives the ball to his teammate it's going to be a long one into the area, can they do something with it? Headed away very well. Good defending by Capos, but not out of danger yet. Takes the shot, interesting, and just two players down, and that was a very good effort by Linfeld, who just felt like he could take a shot off of goal, or onto goal, I should say. Fans giving him a round of applause again. Oh, man, that's very nice. Good movement so far. Boy hasn't really touched the ground yet. Now it has. It's in the middle of the park right now. Can he control? He does. And gets it off to his teammate. Well done here. Got to keep it in touch. He does. Miriam's holding the ball. Back to the center back. Beach and doing very, very well. Not really challenged though. Here comes Miriam with the ball. Gets past one mark, two. Out of danger. Into danger. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Very well done. Fantastic. Good defending by Capo FC. Just chests it back to his, his goalkeeper and. Stops an attack. Throw in going to Capo. Let's see if they're going to do something with this right now. Plenty of players in the box. And these lads are big. I was watching them uh, train before the match. Big, strong. They're actually doing keepy uppy drills, so I can see why they're keeping it you know, off the you know, off the pitch. But look at this. Surely a shot. Center back's doing very, very well so far. Both sets of defenders actually fantastic so far, but crowd came to see goals in the neutral out there on the worldwide spider web. Wants to see goals, so let's see if it can happen. Tenth minute of the match. Feels like it's been about 20 minutes, but it's only about 10. Siegel over the ball. Gets it to his teammate. Very well controlled. That part of the park just, just doesn't seem, the ball doesn't seem to be rolling their way. They made a little switch. Oh, very nicely done. Mueller needs to go up a little bit further to be a little bit more of a pest. 
He is a goal scorer. Nicely done by Kovali. We're getting past the 40 yard mark though, but control right now to the Redlands. A little bit of time. Here's Mueller. Going to get a cross in that he does, and just, I mean, absolutely on the same page, but Lukic just, just not getting the ball down. Just, I mean, it's a great cross. Look at this. And just the lad kept his head down a little bit. Or Certainly a goal. Oh, here you go. Who's going? That was just about. That was just about out muscling each other. And here we go. Look, something's happening in the box right there. And that's just brute strength, but not out of danger yet. Chooses to make that cross. He does, and there's that. Fantastic. Franklin Campos right there, hometown hero. Oh. Mira might get a talking to you, that was a bit rough, but I've seen worse. Kick for Capo. Doesn't get past the first defender. Gets booted into the box and just a slip. Might have been the thing that saved Redlands, but not out of danger yet. Here comes Capo with the ball to the sides. Got to keep it in. Nice little cross. And wow, very well done, very well defended. I would like to say that some people might have thought that might have been an own goal if it was done a little differently, but no. Both sets of defenders on, on both these teams. Very, very good. Siegel now just walks over to the corner flag to just get it. And Walker is sort of barking orders a little bit. There's that nice floater in there. And doesn't get past the first defender and quickly booted out. All the players going towards the ball. Error with the ball. Out to touch, and we have to sort of reset the play once again. Linfeld's going after the ball. I really like these fields where there's a track around it because it gives at least your teammates a, net, a chance to take a breather while you go get the ball. So Linfeld's going to throw it in, gets it to his teammate. Back out again. Throw in for Capo. Interesting match so far. You know, 15th minute going in, and at the end of the day, I think I look back in the first 15 and say, well, it, you know, it isn't much of a feeling out period because they're really getting in there, getting those boots, and just you know, getting a bit physical and going for the the goal. So can we expect a rough and tumble game? You know, by hook or by crook. Look, I mean, it's, it's just fun. good passing, just not into the right players. Here comes Redland now. Mueller with the ball. He's going to have to keep it in. He does. It's a boot into space, but just. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was very dangerous and good on the goalkeeper for being a teeny bit quicker, but look at the speed on Capos right now. They've got some, just not enough bodies in the box to make that cross. Walker now with the ball.
Oh. Slide tackle was a bit iffy on my part, but that's okay, fine. <laughs> Merrin with the ball. Throws it in, gets it back. A bit of movement right now, a little shoulder charge like that. It's in the box now. Is there a cross? Alaska has done really very, very well at this point. Floats right in there. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Out of danger, it is now. Can there be a quick counter attack? No, just. Johnson just being a pest and not letting it get past the halfway mark. Free kick for Redlands and let's see what's going on. It's a 17th minute, first half, here in beautiful Capistrano Valley. Two solid teams, Capo FC and Redlands FC playing. Didn't get past the first defender, but that's fine, plenty of time. USL 2 2023 spring season, the Southwest Division. Capo FC is propping up the table, but it's early days. One loss, one draw. Redlands uh, obviously played th three matches. Again, early days, two wins, one draw. Needs to say Kappa wants to get up the sort of the cellar as quickly as possible, but. There is a team in front of them that is trying to stop that. So back to action, folks. You're in Capistrano Valley and it's just getting a bit a little bit more windy than I thought it would. Not affecting the play. Throw in for the Capos, and we are definitely looking at a, a good opportunity right now. Plenty of bodies in the box. Very well controlled. And very good effort. So now that throw in turns into a corner kick, and Capos have to regroup, try something new, and Redlands have to really communicate, be on the same page about this one. This is going to be very dangerous. Looks like just about everyone is in that. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, very well done, but not out of danger, and just kicked into traffic. Nothing happening yet, and Walker gets the ball. It's a goal kick. Goes short. Miriam with the ball. Gets it to his teammate, just overcooks it a little bit. Heron now has to run back. Yeah, yeah, just call back for an infraction there. Solid players and solid plays going on right now. Tackles have been really just bone crunching at some points. in that box. Not out of danger yet, but so far, there you go. There's that. Goalkeeper's out of the box. Certainly can, you can see that. Surely a shot and just, look at this! Lucas just, great run of play. Should have taken the shot while the goalkeeper was out, but look at that, just good foresight. And then look at this. Wouldn't have taken much to just, Twist that foot the other way and maybe challenge that goalkeeper, but exciting stuff so far.
Oh. Physical match, we all like that. Keeping it very pro, and here we go. Here's the Redlands coming in. It's plenty of space. Look at that for Mueller's got the ball. It's one on one. He knows he can go past the play. He does. He's looking for either a shot. He's taking the shot very well defended by Capo. Good on that kid. Very well done. Heron knows just exactly what's going on with that slide tackle and just does it. Saves his team. Look at this. Oh, I, just, you know, the, the art of defending is definitely there on that one. So far, so good. For the neutral, expecting a goal. Both sets of uh, fans. And one would say that the other is expect not expecting it or expecting it, so. Back to the goalkeeper. Someone's being the best. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just split seconds. Not out of danger. Look, he's going to try something. And uh, why not? Memory's just gonna just try something and see if the goalkeeper's off guard, but. Someone's going to get control of that midfield if they're going to go down the middle. But here we go. Good action right now. Capo's got the ball. It's just going. That's, you know. So far, so good. That was, I thought that was, all, that was I thought that was out to touch at that point. But, no. Nope. <laughs> it's actually, referee's going to call that back. I thought that was a very hopeful cross, but it, they're on the same page on that. And there's a player down. Lukic essentially. Let's take a look. The referee's having a chin wag with another player, but I'm not sure what that's about. Is it an injury, perhaps? Both teams looking to control the ball, get a couple of good passes and make something happen. Right now it's just back and forth, throw in for Capo FC. Looking for a, cro oh look at that. Very imaginative but didn't quite do what it was intended to do. Someone's gonna have to keep, keep control. And it looks like it's Redlands right now. Good movement. There's a player moving to, to the right and he's found him. He's just gonna get past his mark. He does. Surely a shot on goal and there it is. Cool as you like. Yeah, you are with the first goal of the match for Redlands and it was just a very Dare I say, simple transition, passed into the box, and a goal. And let's see what Capo FC needs to do about this, or can do about this. To me, it was just far too casual in the back, de defensively. So, um, head coach Peter Carey needs to do something about that during halftime talk. It's not over yet. Everyone out there watching on the World Wide Spiderweb, you can go out and get yourself a sandwich and a Coke or something, right? But still got plenty of time to go, so you better come back. Throw in for Capo. We've got to do something really quickly about this. Captains need to 
really need to be communicating better. Excuse me. Free kick is going to go straight into the box. Look for the biggest lads there. Do something with it. Walker is conducting his defense and just goes straight to a white shirt, which is... There it is. Something to not a favorable bounce for Capo right now. So let's see what happens. Enough to turn that luck around a little bit. A favorable bounce here and there. A ricochet off a player. Something to get these, to get the score a little bit more even here. And here it is. Into the box. Look. Not quite. Well, you know, luck changes from half to half, doesn't it? Look at this ball. And the goalkeeper is so far out. This time around, it actually worked out very, very well. Entertaining, to say the least. Here come Capo. A little quick counter-attack. Need to get that cross in really quickly. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It gets past his defender. It's a bit of a P-roller. And again, just bypass the midfield. Goes straight to the, to the lone player. but Can't quite control it. Here come Capo. They need to get that ball back. They do. Look at that captain just... Very commanding presence there. But again, the ball goes back to the Redlands. They've got control now. Mueller wants the ball, and he wants a foul, though. But reference that's play on. Would the captain of, the, of Capo FC be called the Capo? I don't know. I mean, because it's a captain. Right? We'll figure it out in half time, right? <laughs> okay, folks, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of soccer, just having a great time, as is, is the norm. I've come to these matches and I have a great time. And the one thing I've always said across the board is the only re thing really missing is you. Um, so find your local team and really go out and support them. It's, it's a fun Saturday night and uh, you get to come out, you can get, watch some really good football and then. You get to go home, <laughs> talk about it with your friends because they didn't show up and then you get to convince them to come in next time and it's, it's, really, it's, a, it's a really fun time. So like I've been saying for very many years, the only thing missing is you. So hopefully the next match, um, you know, come up and just say hi. You know, I'm in the booth. Say, no, Simon, I you know, heard you and I thought I'd come out to watch the game. Back to action right now. Capos absolutely need to take control. There's that through ball they're looking for. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And there's the shots. And, oh, hearts in mouth right now. And, and i got to tell you, Capo wanted to get that goal in. They really fast doing it. And uh, I have a feeling that the, the, the timing was good on this one. It just, that execution at the very end, not quite there yet, yet, but for their efforts, they get a corner kick, and Capos need to take this right now, and here you go. Ooh. You just, you just almost can try to anticipate that there's a, a goal coming from a header from a corner kick in this match, but that's the beauty of football, isn't it? You just really don't know everything is... No one knows, right? No one really knows what's going to happen. Well, not all really knows. No one knows. That's the beauty of football, right? No one in the stadium knows. It's not like a movie or a, or a play. So, uh, and that's why you come out here, you know, to share that experience. Right now, we are sharing this experience with the TV Emacs family, Eleven Sports, here in the Capistrano Valley. All right. Just not on the same page right now. Midfield to, to the forwards for Capo FC. And something I know they've been working on. Um, just got a, uh, just a, I was talking to the to the gaffer right before the game. I was like, listen, you know, what's going on with the team? And he was like, yeah, we've got a really, we've got a lot of team. We've got a lot of players on the team. And, you know, it's, they're all fighting for a spot. And, and, you know, starting 11 from this time might not very well be the, the one that you saw last week. 
So it's it's good. It just it gets a gets that competition, the spirit of competition going. But look at this slid right in. Oh, beautifully done. Defensively amazing at this point. Just trying to keep the the team in the game. Well done to Capos. Um, and the gaffer was back to the gaffer. He was saying like, oh, this is how we do it. Healthy competition inside the ranks, and the best players who've been practicing um, throughout the week get to start and. Um, Take a look at this particular corner kick by Redlands, and here you go. Very well done. Uh, and then, uh, again, that kind of philosophy in a club is very, very good. But again, it does take some time on match days to get sort of on the same page, right? If the person in front of you wasn't there last week, uh, but just was doing well during practice. We'll see. 32 minutes in. Capo FC nil. Redlands FC won. The visitors are ahead. But Capo is not taking a breather. They want to get into the, the halftime huddle at least with a goal under their belt as well. Floated in nicely. Absolutely ev over everyone though, so danger averted. Capos need to do a little bit better than that. Walker will take his time. Back to space. Nicely challenged. Draws the foul for his efforts. Ball gets put back around the, what is that, the 28 yard mark? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your humble servant, the Dalai Lama soccer, doesn't know anything about American football, so not even sure why the, the numbers are there, to be honest with you. But okay. <laughs> the running joke. I don't know. Clashing of bodies right now. Someone's going to take control. Looks like it's Redlands right now. And given away. Out to touch. Touch again, and something both these these managers will be talking out about at halftime is like you gotta keep, you gotta get a couple of passes, string them together, get them to the other side of the pitch, try something, but just keep control on that midfield. You know, don't be, you know, don't be too, uh, you know, casual about it. Redlands are thinking about the last match against RZ Arsenal, AZ Arsenal, <laughs> and f that 4-0, and they're like, oh, well, we can do this again. A little bit different, you know, it's a little, both these teams defensively very solid. has to be some sort of a change for Capo FC during halftime to, to s get a few more shots on goal and, and sort of make them stick, make them hurt a little bit. Right now, Midlands are in control, got a little throw in going. Past the halfway mark, and can he control? He does, slide tackle didn't quite work. It's one on one, he's got to thread that needle, he does, Mueller has the ball, he doesn't get past his mark, and he's got to take the shot sooner rather than later. He's being surrounded by navy blue shirts, pass it to his teammate, not quite, he wants it back. Can they keep control? They do. Redlands now do have control. Mueller wants the ball back, he's asking for it, he's gonna get it now. Certainly something's gonna happen. Attack is a little bit delayed. 
Favorable bounce. Just haphazardly thrown into the box. Just just get into the box and nothing happened for all that effort. But it was very exciting for the run up. But again, let's take a take a shot on goal. Redlands do have control. Capo needs to do something with it. Looking for a foul, doesn't get it. Beecham with the ball. Back to Walker. Walker's looking to his right. Kovac is to his right, but chooses to go down the middle. Bypass the midfield like that. Bypass all the traffic. Here comes Redlands. And then now needs to get the ball. Here comes. Well, here we go. Surely he's going to take the shot off. No, very well done by Capo. Defensively brilliant. Yeah, I just can't do anything right now. His marker was stuck on him like glue and just poked it away. Yeah, yeah, just just a massive throw. Surely a shot. That was not what it was being intended. Throwing right now going to Redlands. now wanting the ball Hera now throws it in gets it to his teammate Siegel wants that ball wants to, just, just wants to lob it forward just doesn't do it now there's a little bit of movement going straight to the front three players and there's a little three ball surely it's something of a poking there it is there's the goal Walker can't do anything about it it is 1-1 here in Capistrano Valley. Capo FC 1, Redland FC 1. Just a split second and the tide has turned. Take a look at the replay on this one. So game on, folks. Thank you for tuning in, USL 2. TV Max family. My name is Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of Soccer, and it is 1-1 here in Southern California. 38th minute. Bit more time to go for the first half, so let's see who can walk away with the advantage. Dare I say Capo would be thankful to go into the break Tied 1-1. Here comes Redland. Both, well, dare I say it again, Capo struggling in front of goal, but not that time, which is great for the fans over here. So don't go away. Well, you, you can go away. Right. Can you go away during halftime? No, you've got to watch the commercials, right? <laughs> so stay tuned. Don't, don't leave your seat. Floated in. Oh, just dangerous sort of bouncing, but not out of danger yet. Very nice. Very nice. Last five or six minutes of the half, and it's getting very interesting for both these teams. The goal didn't quite deflate the enthusiasm of Redlands, but then again, on the flip side, it did rejuvenate Capo FC in its place, but look at that, maybe, you know, curse of the commentary over here, look. Oh! Just a split second, you sort of turn away, and, and the Redlands come with a counter-attack that Keeps a few defenders flat-footed, and they've been technically very done very, very well. The speed of Redland, something that, that they have to talk about during halftime, that's for sure. Beecham with the ball. Look at that, just floats right in, looking for Mueller. Capo not giving it away. And that's a foul. Redlands with the ball. Miriam wants to 
kick it very quickly, but instead gets it to his captain. Says, okay, all right, go ahead and just do that. Looking for Lukic, looking for Mueller. It's one on one right now. Toe poked away. Can there be a quick counter? No, just, just by hook or by crook, just getting the ball back. Favorable. Lukic just trying to do something with it. Redlands know that they got, they've got sort of an uptick right now. They're in the other side of the, well, on the side of the field they need to be. But now look, quick counter. Very well done, a good eye, but better eye by Miriam to absolutely just sort of get in the way of that. And then he starts the quick counter with his teammate. Walker did a good job. Getting closed down on their half of the pitch. Capos want to score a goal, you can see it. Midlands have other ideas in mind. Certainly could have taken a shot off there. Looking for his teammate. There it is. Unselfish. Kovalic has got the ball. Looking for Mueller. Mueller can score goals. Let's get to his feet. Stays in touch. Well done. Nope. How did a referee see that? <laughs> okay. Eagle eyes, definitely. Had a little chance to talk to the referees during the, before the game. Fantastic group. Well-traveled. About three minutes to go, stoppage time. Not much gonna happen there, I don't think. Both teams wanna go into the, to the half with just something like that but just didn't quite keep it down so I want to show the crowd that they're in this and, when they, and they should stay tuned <laughs> for the second half so let's see what happens Could have done a little bit better than that, but again, good defending by Capo. Fair to say, this is not the normal ground that, that uh, Capo plays on. Usually, they play a little bit down the street um, on a different sort of a different pitch altogether. So you could say that, that you know, they're getting used to it as well. It's taken about. Yeah, 30 minutes to do that. But then again, the, whenever they travel, they've got to get used to it too. So, nice long throwing for Redland. Bounces favorably. Ooh, tries to do a bicycle kick and then just booted, but almost whiffed. Here comes Mueller. One on two, they know that. Gets the cross in. Way over the head of Miriam, but not out of danger yet. Gets past his mark, does he? And just booted away. Oh, not out of danger. Something happening here. Surely a shot. Very well saved. Goalkeeper had an eye on the ball. Cool as you like. Starts to counter. Doesn't quite get there. And he's going to have to go back to his goal because something's happening. Mueller has the ball. Gets it to his teammate. There's Miriam. He's got it. Defending very, very well. And there you go. Unlucky there. That's what I would have done. That's what I would have just booted out. Get into that one play you have over there and start that counter and here we go. And just intercepted. Definitely Redlands defenders are on the same page. Dangerous. Here we go, it's the shot. Oh. <laughs> just amazing stuff so far. Look at this, not out of danger yet. Lucas doesn't do something with the ball. And just forced. Good defending. Forced. Just <laughs> out. Not a lot of time to go in the first half, folks. Simon Allen here. I'm just watching this game like you're watching. Like, 
what just happened? Just bouncing all over the place. Couple of shots on goal, couple of saves. It is a bluster. And this could be it. Redlands with the corner kick. Yeah, now takes it. <laughs> it's the side netting as it goes out. So the referee's looking at his watch. Bit of a chit chat session with the goalkeeper and the and, and the assistant coach. Oh, and there you have it, folks. Referee was looking at his watch, just waiting for that kick, and it is. There's been a there's been a, a, a decent match here if you are a fan of defending and that sort of counter attack style of football that you can get some good goals like the one you just see. But right now here. It's 1-1, one, one. Capistrano Valley, it's, you know, interesting. So Capo FC 1, Redlands FC 1, stay tuned. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We are back, folks. Thanks for coming back. I know it might have been a, a long trip to the refrigerator and back, but if you're out there in the worldwide spider web, thank you so much. You are listening to Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of soccer, here in beautiful Mission Viejo, California. And it is USL2, folks. It's been a really interesting match at this point. Capo FC scored an equalizer very late. Um, there, I, there I am. That's me, right there. You just saw it in the corner of your screen. I love it. And, uh, but Redlands started off the match very, very well. It's 1-1, it's, one, one, it's a draw. And, uh, you know, Capo knows about draws. Their first match was against the Seahorses in Whittier College. They drew 1-1 one, one there. Redlands knows about it. They, they'll be very happy with the 1-1 away. They, they actually were at home against, I believe, home against FC Tucson. Were, it was 1-1 one, one there. But, again, USL 2, the 2023 spring season. And we're off second half. Southwest Division, it is 1-1, one, one, clearly on the left-hand side of your screen. Um, let's see what happens. Again, I'm, we saw off-camera both these managers having a good talk with just everyone on the pitch. Not the starting 11, but everyone on the team. And right now, here come Capo. They're not wasting any time. And Walker had to be very alert to get that. Don't know of any subs right now. Um, very, but again, I can assure you, a lot of hectic things going on during the halftime break. And here come Redlands. They're not wasting time either. And there's a ricochets and certainly a shot. Just trying to be a bit too clever in my in my book on that one. Defense was doing a very good job. Just give uh, there it is. Use the right foot. I don't know. Just take the shot. My old coach used to say, if you're in the box and you don't know what to do, just put it in the back of the net and come back and ask me later what you should do. Good movement so far. I like, I mean, it almost reminds me of like an Italy versus Ireland match. Like it, the ball will just, it's in the air so long, you know, it's not, it's not on the ground. Just got to get that final head down to your teammate. And both these, uh, I'm, I'm guessing both the managers were talking about that. Like, if you're, if you're heading the ball up in the air, make sure the final one gets headed down to your teammate. Movement right now, back and forth. Here come Redlands. Surely a shot on goal. It's going to happen soon. Holding it for too long. It's one on one. There it is. Doesn't look like the defense for Capos has changed. Doesn't look like a Petrovsky, perhaps? We'll find out when we get the, uh, <laughs> when we get uh, any word from these assistant referees, but it doesn't matter because it just doesn't look like anything's Change too much. I mean, I'm trying to be give it a different kind of eye to this, but it looks like it's the same sort of formation and plan, even though it's been about a minute. Um, just maybe ratcheting up the speed a little bit and getting a bit more aggressive. But that was doing no, that was fine la in, the, in the last half. Oh, just very oh, dangerous. Very dangerous. Messing around the back. It's going to take a few moments for both these teams to just sort of get back into the swing of things. Right now, Capo has the ball, moving it forward. Just lobbed into the middle of the park. Redlands have the ball now. He's cutting off some options there. Should have got it back to the, to the goalkeeper, but instead, his teammate was right next to him. Well done. Through ball. Into the box right about now. Covered very well by Capo Defense. Nice big boot. Both these teams need to control that ball, get it down on the ground quickly, 
and start something. It's in the box. Nice long throw. It's down the sides right now. And we've seen that a lot of times where the Redlands will just kick that ball, try to thread the needle somewhere, and Capo defense will just come in and just put a, stick a leg out and just boot it away. That's worked really well. Except it just gives the ball back to Redlands. So, and, then, and here they are. Something's got to be done about that. And there's a foul right there. Referee was right in front of the, the play. Kovic on this side of the field. Again, just ball off the off the turf, and it is, it's on the turf now. A little bit of movement. There you go. Just bypass the entire midfield. It's going straight into the sides right there. And there's that cross. Unfortunately, no one there. Throw in. It's been a little bit colder here, folks, here in Mission Viejo. Capistrano Valley. Throw in for Redland. Capo's content to move it across the back and then find some space, but it just goes out to touch right now. Not on the same page right now, but again, we saw that in the first half where it took them about 15 minutes for them just to, dare I say, get on the same page, maybe even get in the same book, and then suddenly they were on the same page and things were happening, both these teams. Um, and I'll venture to say that for Capo, this is an away game as well, kind of, right? Because they're not playing on the same field they were last week. So... Here comes Redlands. Good movement. Into space. No one there. Capo is very content to get it back to their goalkeeper. Passes are getting there. Looks like a foul. Get a throw in. Here comes Redlands with a throw in. Quick. A little bit of space. Surely a shot, but the cross was there. That was Kovalic with the, sh with the, with the cross. Nice boot to the area right now. Trying to bypass that midfield, but it's getting kicked right back into the mix, so to speak. Into the area. Can't, oof, can't get sloppy over there. Out to touch. No. Still in play. Capo is going to run down the ball, get it to his goalkeeper. No. Keeps it. Very well done. F finds his teammate, and it looks like some sort of a foul. Back and forth right now. A lot of traffic, but Redmond's going through it. There's that through ball, certainly. Wow, very well done. Looks like a slight touch by the Capo defense to get it out of the way. Just past the attacker. Very well done. Subtle and uh, to the, but 
to the point. Corner kick for Redlands and see what happens. It's gonna get past the first defender, does it? And there's a, oh. Could have sworn that was going in from this angle. And that was dangerous. Let's take a look at that again. Goes in. And look at that. Just, yeah, just sneaks in and gets the head on it. But uh, still 1 1 here in Mission of Yeo. Referee saw it, hesitated a little bit, <laughs> said, okay, I'll do it. I'll blow the whistle. Quickly done. Renner's now with the ball. Can this be a little bit dangerous for them? It's one-on-one. -on -one. There's a little cross right there. And, oh, just missed, kicked it. Capos now want to make a deal with just a quick counter. Capo FC now being urged on by their by their fans. Cheered on. I like the way they're thinking right now. Get that ball on the other side of the pitch quickly. Redlands have the same idea, but it was offside. with the ball and just defended very well. Miriam does a good job over there on that side of the pitch for Redlands. And at the end of the day, though, Capo needs to penetrate quickly into that box, not mess around, get a couple of shots, really sting the, goal, the gloves of the goalkeeper. Here we go. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Holding his defender back, gets that cross in there and rolls across the goalkeeper. Just no one there just to tap it in. Let's just send it go back a little bit. Fair enough, right? <laughs> Try to take advantage a little bit. Velasquez tries to get the ball for Capo, and let's see who can maintain control here. Here's that long through ball we're looking for. It's on side. That goalkeeper comes out very, very bravely, gets it out, and it's not out of danger yet, folks. Stay tuned. Surely a shot. Surely now. And just, just defending. Just done very, very well. And folks, it's 58th minute and it's still 1 1. Capo FC 1, Redland FC 1, USL 2, TV Max Family, Sports 11. a lot colder here than I thought it would be. And that is definitely going to affect both of these teams. Oh. Given away. Can Redden actually take advantage of this? Uh, no, it's a field goal. And that's that's all I know about American football. <laughs> that's it. That those that rugby post looking thing is a field goal, right? I'm looking at the producer here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Maybe. Both these teams need to maintain a bit of control, control that ball, not just kick it out like that and hope that it gets there. Whoever does that, I think, is going to score that winning goal. But right now, it's very dangerous. 
Capone needs to control the ball. It doesn't. They don't. Here comes Redlands with a counter attack. It's going past the 50. Now there's a 20. Surely something's going to happen here. It's a cross. Yeah, wanted to cross the ball to one of his teammates. There was really no one there. Should have probably taken the shot. For his efforts, though, Redlands do get a corner kick. Everyone's in the box. A lot of big bodies there. These lads are big. Capo needs to get rid of that ball, stop messing around with it in the box, and start a counter quickly. Here comes the corner. Very well done. Out of danger. And very much a Hail Mary boot. But uh, you can try a few of those, I guess, right? I mean, that's doable. I've seen those going once in a while. Here come Capo with the ball, bypassing the midfield. Trying at least, intercepted and kicked out of touch. So Kappa with the throw in. Yes, trying to out muscle the defense. It's working. Who got the foul? I wonder. Referee's looking. Wow. Yeah, okay. okay. Yellow card. Defender playing with a yellow. That could be very dangerous. Vargas with the yellow. Capo now. Can they make something of this? I think the internet will say it might have been a very soft foul, but... Capo fans will say, great, we'll take it and see what we can do with it. Two players standing over the ball. Five players in the box ready to do something. One Capo player all the way, I've been told, at the 30-yard mark. I'll learn American football one day. Waiting to clean things up. Walker in goal. Siegel over the ball. Floats it in. Something's going to happen here. It does. It's not out of danger yet. It is now. Capo now has to essentially try to get the ball back all the way across the pitch. Herrera does that. Needs to find a player. Doesn't. Capo players right now know that was a squandered opportunity because look... Redlands are now trying to make that counter work for them. There's a throw in for Redlands, and now a split second ago, Capos were essentially trying to score a goal. Now they're defending their goal. Herrera now throws it in. Easy pass. Fresh legs, but didn't quite work because the defense is doing their job. Given away, not very, oof, not the safest of plays, I should, uh, I should say. And again, a throw in for, for Redlands, and this is, again, a dangerous part of the pitch, the turnover possession. Nice long throw in. Didn't get past the first defender. Is a counter. Doesn't get to his teammate. Good thinking though. Smart play. Get it to the player in front of him and then make that dash into the box to, to get that second pass. Didn't quite happen though, but we saw it. And here we go. Oh, that's a foul. No, <laughs> that was holding, but it was ref didn't see it. It's a throw in. Well done to everyone so far. Both sets of players aren't disappointing their fans. No sorry. It's doing really well. Both sets of fans absolutely enjoying being here. Of course, both sets of fans do want to see a winning goal. So let's see what happens, folks. Uh, everyone out there on the worldwide spider web. Hang out some more. Nice 
nice long throw in. Got to get past the defence. Got to get. Doesn't. Capo's defence doing really well in those situations. And what can they do now? There it is. There it is. Someone's got to run into that. Someone's got to run into that. And it bounced really favourably for Cowboys. Let's see what they do. Certainly a cross. It's, a, it's set up so nicely. Redden's defence does the job. There's a foul in the box. Referee's not having any of it. Action is on the other side of the pitch. Certainly a shot now. No. Bags of space. There's a shot and just slices it to the right. He's going to want that one back. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely wants that back. That's his bread and butter. He should make those shots all the time. And he is mad at, at himself, and he definitely should be. Looks like we're going to get a, a substitution coming in pretty soon. So good. Yeah, substitution coming in for Redlands. A little bit of to mostly like for like. Now, can the Capos absolutely take advantage of this? Not quite on the same page. Can they go through this player? Very well done. Just defensively solid right now for Capos. They've got to do better than that. That was yes. And as soon as I said that, yes, they're going to slightly ratchet it up a little bit more. Make sure they don't get those that Redlands don't get those crosses in as casually as they've been doing. Back and forth. Oh no! Oh! A knife to the throat. Just a, a mistake and it's, they pay the penalty for that. And you can hear it in my voice how heartbreaking it is that just out of nowhere, a mistake and it's now 2-1 to Redland FC. So it's Capo FC 1, look at this, just, well, and King couldn't do a really a thing about it. He, he tried his best. Nicky having a very good game so far. No one's going to fault him. But that little teeny mistake in the back, and an uncharacteristic mistake, I should say. Now, it's 2-1. Let, let's see what the Capos can do. Capo FC really needs to dig deep right now. It's the 69th minute. Getting a substitution in. Perez comes in. Fresh legs. Jenkins tries to do something with that.
there's that through ball they're looking for into the box. Not quite there yet. So it's not necessarily a mountain to climb, but Capo needs to dig deep, ratchet up the speed, the aggressiveness, and get back in the game. Back to King. Boots it away. Middle of the park right now, they need, they need to maintain control. Jenkins on this side of the pitch, just watching it. The roll towards the, the opposition's goalkeeper. Scalzo, just trying to be a pest, but trying to conserve a little bit of energy, I don't know. He's looking around. Through ball by Redlands. Good passing, this is what we want to see. Given away, but again, maintaining control. Well done by Capo. Good movement. Just, just trying to pass into sort of a, an area where there's just too many white shirts. Jenkins with the ball. Going past his, finds his player. Good eye. There's that cross. Trusman did a, a, just a, a cross that I think if anyone was just two steps away from it, could have just leaned in and scored a goal. But... Now the quick counter-attack by Redland. Yeha with the ball. Headed down, smart move. Here come Capo FC. Good passing so far. Trusner now passes it into space, looks for his player. Is he gonna get, no, out to touch. And Scalzo would like that back. Marcus Scalzo needs to get in there. You know, time is running out. He's there. He's, you can see he's itching to score a goal. Redlands have a few things in mind and it's not them, it's not Capo scoring a goal. So they're gonna boot it away. Swoboda now. Good pass, back and forth. Perez doing well in the midfield. They're just trying to stretch out Redland to find a bit of space, a pocket, to where they can just pass it in there. So far, so good. They're maintaining possession, doing a good job about it too. And then the commentator's curse hits. Scalzo just couldn't quite keep it and then he Fouls the player. Dare I say it? Professional foul. Stop their run of play. But again, now he has to go back to defend. Long boot going in. Skelly has to get that ball. Can't be shy. Trezner with the ball. Just runs into the traffic and then now Redlands have the ball. Slip. Capo take advantage. Capo FC now with the ball. Good movement so far. Jenkins tries to get past his mark. For his efforts though, he gets a, a throw in. Takes his time. Gets it to his teammate. Siegel now. I think I knew what he was thinking, trying to get the ball through, but it's been booted all the way to the other side of the pitch. That's not what Capo wants right now. Capo actually needs to get that ball, maintain possession on the other side of the pitch, obviously. Take a few shots on goal. Walk hasn't really been tested. Jenkins with the ball. Good movement right now. Scalzo with the ball. Offside. Unlucky call. Unlucky for Scalzo. He was itching to get that ball and get it into the box somehow. Possession is now shifted towards Redlands. And they're not going to be in any rush to do anything with it other than boot it to literally the other side of the pitch and try to keep it there. All right.
Capo has to dig deep collectively and, and see if they can just absolutely, by hook or by crook, get another goal here to make it 2 2. And then do what pretty much they were doing. No, giving away. Something's happening there, and it's a goal. Giving away and another goal. Redlands are up 3 1 here in Mission Viejo. Not what the Capo fans were expecting. Traveling fans are celebrating, and it was just another sort of. You can see it right over here. Just. Capo defense just slightly off, slightly asleep at the wheel, and Redlands are going to go ahead and make them pay. It's 3 1. It might be out of reach right now, but we've seen teams that have been leading with a two goal cushion fall asleep as well and take their foot off the gas. Will it happen now? Will the traveling fans be okay? I don't know. Will, let's see what, if there's a plan C for Capo FC. so far heads aren't down that's a good sign for Capo, Capo FC fans they're playing like gladiators they're not giving up good movement there's that through ball and just booted away as you would expect the wind's kicking up it's getting colder on that pitch the legs are going to get more tired So far, I'm trying to see the expressions on the faces of both sets of players, and it just looks, they look both very determined. Capo FC determined to not walk out of here 3-1 down. They're gonna give, they're gonna work their socks off. And uh, Redlands, well, they're not, look, they're, they're going for number four, right? So here we go. It's getting a little bit faster. Jenkins quite, couldn't quite control the ball. It's a throw in for Redlands. It is getting very cold, isn't it? For summer. <laughs> Good movement. There's a cross. And there's, oh, just was teed up. And that would have been a highlight real goal for Redlands. But again, it's still 3-1. Look at that, just teed up nicely and couldn't quite get his body around it. It's 3-1 here in Mission Viejo. USL League 2, TV Max family. My name is Simon Allen. The home team is down by two goals. Capo FC 1, Redlands FC 3. But as is the norm, Capo is not give it up. And Walker just happy to see that go over the crossbar for a corner kick. Quality of play tonight has been really just excellent. Few lapses in, in judgment from the defense is, is literally why you see the score line. But when it comes to passing, when it comes to shots on goal, when it comes to team play, it's been wonderful. Right now we'll throw in for Redlands. Not giving up yet, Jenkins with the ball, he's in the box, is he? Yes, he's going to make that cross, no one there. Not out of danger yet, Redlands does need to go ahead and defend. Oh, look at that. Just a P-roll into the box and no one there. Not on the same page right there, right there, but that was very dangerous. Redlands now have to sort of maintain a bit of control here. You can see Capo just pressing very hard. 
a little bit of pressure, and Capo does get the throw in. Tries no with the ball. Oh, that was very quick, quickly done, and uh, I can see that's what he was thinking there. It's just no one in the box right now. And yes, Walker will definitely just take his time. <laughs> Oh, certainly a foul. Saw that one coming. About 10 minutes to go. To be honest with you, I don't see much stoppage time. And uh, ever the optimist, I think when you're down, it's always a chance. Always a chance. You should never give up. So I've seen matches throughout my life where it's been 3-1 and in the last five or six minutes, Tied it up, so. Intensity's still there. Capo with the ball. Gotta got to get to Scalzo. He doesn't quite control it. It's a throw in right now for Capo. Capo FC trying to maintain control in that middle of the park area. Certainly bags of space now, finds his player. Here comes Jenkins. He's got time. He's going to go right there, and he needs to make that cross. He does. And a little bit of miscommunication by the Redlands defense, and could have very well been an own goal. And let's see what Redlands can do. They know they've got this game in the bag if they just got to maintain possession, but they give it away. Yeah, very smart, very smart by Redlands. They're just essentially just moving the ball around, making Capo just chase the ball, chase the game. So as long as they're smart about it, they can tire down Capo FC and all their players. Um, you can see Scouts are just like really frustrated right now. Look at the number 90 on, on your screen. Just, look, just looking up in the sky going, come on. So, but again, not giving up, which is what we want to see in our heroes, right? Movement is there. Back to defense. Switches. No, goes down the middle. A little bit of space for Capo right now to do something with it. Tries to get it a little bit. Doesn't get past the first defender. Been saying that like for a lot, uh, a lot during this match, and it's something I think both managers will probably work on during the week. Entertaining, none nonetheless. Nicely done. Just well defended. Redlands know who the danger players are up front, obviously. So they're sticking to them like glue, but. Redlands now want a goal. And that, does it stay in? It does. Not too, uh, not too rushed to get it back into the box, but, and well, I guess for that, possession is turned over and just, mm, just getting tired at this point and they gave away a, a throw in. About seven minutes to go, plus a little bit of, you know, stoppage time here and there. Only the referee knows. Substitution for, for Capo FC coming in. Dean Chong. See if he's a super sub. See, the fans are quieting down a little bit because they're not quite sure. I think some of the home fans are like, well, they're sort of reserved in the fact that they might be, you know, not winning this match. And uh, on the opposite side, the traveling fans are like, well, I think they're probably saying that we've won the match. 
But again, anytime there's even a few seconds on the pitch, there's something like this is going to happen, and there's a goal. What did I tell you? Capo, do not give up. And it's 3 2. They're a, can they tie it up? Just amazing. Just true grit, determination. Nothing Walker can do, and Herrera's got the, got the. But got the goal. Now, does he have the time? Does Capo have the time to tie it up? About five minutes to go. Herculean effort, it can be done. Throw in for Capo. Their fans are behind them right now. And what did I say? If you've got even a few seconds, you can get, you can get a couple of goals in. So let's do this. Let's make this one of those matches where everyone says, did you see that match on USL 2? Capo versus Redlands? And like I've been saying for many years, really, the only thing missing here is you folks. So come on down to the next match. Get to be part of the excitement. And if you're you know, outside of California, well, yeah, tell your friends, tune in next week, obviously. Good idea by Capo. Get the ball down center. Go straight to the area. Do something with it. And here we go. They're not giving up. Jenkins. Gets past his mark. Gets fouled. No. Does not get fouled. Referee saw it. Said no. So possession with the Redlands. Can they hold on to it? Good substitutions made by Peter Carey. Can a player, can that X factor tie the game up? Now being 3 1 down, and then, but then going, you know, getting in your car and going home, you know, 3 3 draw doesn't sting as much. Definitely a little bit of a, you know, no rush to get that ball into the area. So, <laughs> see that happening. About two and a half minutes to go, plus whatever the referee wants to add on to it. We'll start that counter attack very quickly. It's getting just kicked into the area. You know, right where that old logo is, it says CV. It needs to be further down the pitch. Referee's going to stop play. Very well done. It's a throw in. Redlands going to throw it in. They, they take their time. Right, they're going to hold on to it. Ooh. Preston's like being very, you know, aggressive, but properly aggressive. I didn't see any. I didn't see anything wrong with that particular challenge, but okay. Now, Capo has to be very careful. Redlands chooses not to just lob it into the box, but rather just maintain it on that side of the pitch. Here we go, there's that lob into the box. Dangerous. Going backwards and then look. Just trying to find that front player over there. It's not happening. Yeah. This is what you'd expect in the you know the final moments of the match. It's just trying to keep it away from their, you know, rather than trying to keep it away from their goalie and Capo FC just trying to get the ball into that other side of the pitch where they can just take a few more shots, or at least one more shot and go, look, here we go. Coach is telling them, press forward. And here's something very dangerous. So just heartbreaking for Capo FC, but absolute elation for Redlands. 
as Capo was trying to do something on the other side of the pitch, a big boot releases Redlands and well, there you have it. The fourth goal and there's nothing Capo can do about it right now. It's almost over folks. Heartbreak for the home team, absolute joy for the traveling fans. Here we are at Mission Viejo, the home team. Capo FC two, Redlands FC four. And we are, well, at the mercy of the, of, of the referee at this point. How many minutes or even seconds will he add on? Capo was doing so well. Capo FC was doing so well. They, had, they were sort of getting their rhythm back and trying to do some stuff and get shots on goal. And this just puts a dagger in their heart. Walker will probably take as much time as possible, even probably get, well, won't get a yellow, but <laughs> I'll say take one for the team and get a yellow just to close the game off. But again, got to give credit to Capo FC. They've been working their socks off, playing really hard. They haven't put their finger over the panic button. They haven't pressed the panic button. They've been playing their style of football. They've Change it up a little bit just to see you know, if they can, you know, cause a little bit of chaos, a little bit of panic when it comes to the other side of the pitch. But overall, playing like gladiators and kudos to both teams actually playing. Very strong football. Referees hasn't looked at his watch. That's okay. We don't mind. Add on another half, we'll, we'll be here. <laughs> no, foul, looks like a player down, and a yellow. You don't want to see a player get hurt, especially so late in the game, well, ever, but especially so late in the game where, but you know what I mean. The producer says no. Tell them what you mean. I'm like, well, you don't want to see a player get hurt. Right? That's, right? That's a <laughs> you don't. But especially so late in the game, because, you know. Oh, we'll get some emails on that one later, some tweets. Back to action, folks. Only a few seconds left. Dying moments of the match. Capo FC down by two goals. It's two, four, four goals for Redlands. I think the fourth goal was the best for Redlands and both goals for Capo, fabulous. Great hi highlight real match if, if you're not here to watch it live. And look at this through board on side. Certainly something happening here. And there it is and there's, well, there's the final nail in the coffin. Redlands FC are gonna go home absolutely victorious and absolutely happy with themselves. And back to the drawing board for Capo. Look at that. Just. Nothing Nate King could have done about that one. And now you can see a little bit of distraught, a little bit of frustration in the faces, the body language of Capo FC. And the reference says, we've had enough. It's been wonderful for the neutral. But at the end of the day, after 90 plus minutes, Capo FC 2, Redlands FC 5, You've been watching USL2 here on TV Max, Sports 11. My name is Simon Allen, Dalai Lama of Soccer. Thank you for tuning in. Please go out and support your local soccer team. They're all over the place. So they need your support, they want your support, and it's really fun. I'll see you next week, either on the worldwide spider web or live. Go out and support your team. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.